Regional correspondent Bastian Renouy has the latest from Djibouti. According to my contacts in Khartoum, uh, it's impossible to create a ceasefire. They say that it's a humanitarian corridor, mainly for foreigners to evacuate uh, Khartoum, uh, either to Port Sudan by road or to the strip uh, north of the city. But uh, civilians are still stranded. Uh, yesterday, they told me that they could hear uh, many gunshots, many explosions. We know that uh, an hospital in the city of Omdurman, so just like next to Khartoum, has been shelled uh, yesterday. Many people were injured. We received received videos and photos and I can tell you that it was terrible in this place. So I can tell you that the uh, ceasefire is not working at the moment and it's very difficult to imagine uh, both General Hemeti, the head of the Rapid Support Forces, and General Buhan, uh, the head of uh, the military, uh, to negotiate because it's a power struggle, it's a, it's a question of uh, life or death between them. And they both think that they can win this war. So uh, there is no real reason for them to negotiate at the moment. The only thing that they're willing to do is to implement this uh, humanitarian corridor, maybe under pressure from the international community. But at the moment, all my contacts in Khartoum tell me that uh, they're not expecting any real ceasefire soon, that the only thing that they're expecting is more fighting during the next days.